everyone. We're coming in live, okay, from the second floor of Pioneer Street Market, also known as ESM. We're located inside HMR Parking Compound along Reliance Street from the city of Mandaluyong. And we are just across TV5, okay, to all our viewers. If you are first timer here, if you're going to be watching this from our replay, okay, this is Coach A and you're joining me from Decap Coffee Republic. This is Coaching Tuesday and I'm doing Kapihan Night. This is our Kapihan Night, a community nights of Decap Coffee Republic every Tuesday. When we talk about life, money, relationship, and anything under the sun, including the sun. But for tonight, we're going to be talking about instant gratification. So if you and the people you know, people you love, people you are interacting with, you believe can be ministered or can be blessed or can benefit from my talk for tonight, I would encourage really that you share this. Okay, um, not just give me a shout out, but really share this so that we can help other people. Be um, also coach and also be enlightened with the topic. Again, our topic for tonight is instant gratification. And for those people who've been watching and following us, um, thank you so much. We've been doing Kapihan Night for over a year and I was out for two weeks. Okay, um, no, 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 I, I never went to abroad or whatever. Um, for some people who's asking, uh, hindi na ba kami magkakapihan night? I was out for two weeks because I got sick. Okay, I got hospitalized. Um, I had my, uh, my gallbladder removed last Wednesday, uh, last Monday, but I'm okay now. I'm back in shape and I'm so excited to be back. So, um, sorry that we have been, um, for two weeks, no, we've been uh, giving you announcement that we will resume, but we were not able to resume because it was very difficult. But now, I'm back. I'm back in shape, perfectly in shape. And according to Coach Roy, meron daw notice ang hospital namin na hindi na ako pwedeng tanggapin ulit. So, hindi na ako ulit magkakasakit. No, I, I never, hindi, hindi po ako mandali nagkakasakit. So, um, to my surgeon, um, Paolo, or for Sikula, marami pong salamat. It's been a week and I'm back in shape. Marami pong salamat. Okay, so moving forward. Okay, I'm a certified life coach. This, this just in case this is the first time that you are joining me and I'm doing two things. As a certified life coach, I am representing the Life Coach Training Institute. I'm the global partner for Asian region and I do life coach certification programs. So just in case you want to explore, you want to embark or you want to start your career in life coaching, we do locally, meaning we do international certification locally face to face face and I do that. So here at the Function Hall of Decap Rocky Republic. So in case you are interested, you can message us. As a life coach, um, I empower people to be mentally fit, to be mentally sane, to be mentally healthy. Okay, I believe that regardless of your mental condition, regardless of your mental difficulty or the, regardless of your mental disorder, you are entitled, you are capable or having a quality life. So it's just in case you are interested to be coach on mental wellness we are doing that okay we've been doing that for five weeks five saturdays we will be having another coaching for mental wellness it's a free talk this coming saturday at five o'clock here at the cup coffee republic i'm also doing another talk that's regular on a thursday that's strengthening thursday and what we do that is coaching for the soul we talk about spirituality we talk about your soul we talk about something that is very personal to you no i'm not going to be talking about the religion this thursday i'm talking about your your greatest value, your greatest value as a person. So if you're free, I invite you to come over and join the beautiful people on floor. So hindi po ako mag-isa. Okay, pwede naman tayong pumalakpak, di ba? Para alam lang nilang may kasama ako. And for those of you asking, bakit hindi kasama ang guests, di ba? Bakit hindi po yung nakikita yung guest number one, we protect their privacy. And number two, that's actually our teaser. Punta po kayo dito para makasama nyo sila. Well, actually, I'm always excited on the beginning and the last part of the talk. So where I go offline because that's an opportunity for us to communicate, uh, to engage, and really to meet new beautiful people. Tonight also, I am joined with a beautiful coaches. I have Coach Lau, I have Coach Roy, Coach Ann, Coach Jessica, I have Coach Doms, Coach Raj also on floor. So, good evening everyone. Okay, to all the people on floor. Ay, Al, good evening. Welcome back. Okay, so to all the people who just joined us for tonight, um, my question, I started it with our on-floor guests. I asked them to have a mental picture of their instant gratification. Meaning, what is that one thing that you cannot wait? Or what is one thing that you would always grab into instead of waiting? So, what is instant community? Uh, what is instant gratification? You have heard it many times, correct? Yes. It is common. Okay, is it good? Is it bad? When you hear it, to be honest. 
Both oh, ways. Huh? Both, Both ways. ways. Both ways. Both ways kasi you have been gratified. Bad ways kasi people sasabihin nila you cannot wait. Tama? Yes. Okay. Instant gratification is a term, okay, na normally refers to, kaya sabi nila bad, a temptation. Okay? They would say that it's a temptation that is normally resulting to the tendency to forego future benefit. Kaya nga siya instant gratification. Ibig sabihin nun, had you waited, you would have a future benefit that is regarded or believed to be greater than what you will be taking in if you pursue or you take the instant gratification. Okay? So, it's a natural human urge. Okay? It is natural, okay? Human urge that we want God, that we want to satisfy our flesh, for flesh sure. Normal naman yon. We don't want pain. Di ba kaya pag nagutom ka at hindi mo kaya magluto ngayon, whatever is instant, you take it. Kasi gutom ka. Correct? Oh, o yan. Di ba? Totoo naman. Amin po tayo, right? Okay. Ano pa yung mga instant gratifications na meron tayo? Okay. Kaya po may negosyo ang credit card kasi pag may gusto kang bilhin kahit wala kang pera, anong gagawin mo sa credit card mo? Anong gagawin sa credit card? Is swipe. Okay. So the whole credit card business industry also originated from the perspective that we want instant gratification. Okay? If we want something, okay, and we cannot wait, we will swipe our credit card. But if we can wait, what we will do? What will you do? You will save. Diba? Sabi nila, the flip side of instant gratification is delayed gratification or the decision to put the to to put of satisfying your desire now to gain even a better reward in the future. Let's talk about food. If you're hungry and you just, you know, temper your stomach for a while instead of getting and resulting to fast food, instead of resulting to instant food, you decided to buy and cook healthy food. Ano, ano po yung flip side nun? You will become healthy. Tama? Pero kung hindi ka pwedeng maghintay at lagi kang madaling magutom, what will happen is you will always resolve to instant food. Correct? And instant food, okay, or fast food food, will give you what? Sickness. Ha? Huh? You will give you? Empty calories. Empty calories, bloating stomach. Totoo naman po yun. With all due respect to the fast food, we eat fast food as well. Okay? Pero that's what happened. Correct? Correct? Do you, do, do you get me? Can you relate? Can you agree with me? Okay, so ano pa? Ano pa yung mga ano pa yung mga normal? Oh, eto. Kapag nagugutom ka, okay, 'di ba? Aside from instant food, ano pa yung ano mo? High calorie snack, chips. Chips and dips. Chips and dips. dips. Oh, 'di ba? Dinagdagan pa natin. <laughs> Diba that's what it does? Kasi the moment that you feel hungry, okay, if you take the chips, you get satisfied because of the saltiness of it. O diba mas madali naman talaga kumuha ng chips? Kesa magluto? Kesa magsaing? Kesa mamalengke? Totoo? Agree? O, oh, okay lang yan. O, oh, okay lang, diba? Okay, eto, mas madaling is news of ang alarm clock kesa bumangon, okay, at mag-unat-unat. Okay. So, ano yon? Instant gratification that you still want to prolong. Minsan nga, kahit ang haba na ng tulog mo, gusto mo pa rin matulog. Okay. Sino dito ang nag ng alarm clock sa umaga? Amin kayo, yung totoo. Kita kayo ni Lord. Oh, di ba? And not just once, but twice, but thrice. Di ba? Okay. Ako, hindi ako nag-snooze off. Alam mo bakit? Kasi ina-alarm ko na siya na magkakasunod. O, di ba? Yun na yun. Talaga, alam ko na. Makukulingling na yung tenga ko talaga. Di ba? No. Seriously. What, what is it for you? If you can get up a little earlier by 30 minutes, you can do a little exercise, you can walk down the road, you can do some jumping ropes, you can do some stretching in the house, and that will benefit you with a better health. Agree, disagree? Agree? Yes. Alright, okay. Then, we have temptations of going out with friends for a drinks even if kailangan nating mag-aral for, for the next day presentation. Pag sojanti ka, uh, chill-chill muna tayo kahit may exam tomorrow. Kasi masarap kasama yung friends, eh. hirap kaya mag-aral. Correct? Okay? If we put it on a higher level, okay, why do you think there are people who would buy a new car okay, on a mortgage, on a loan? Same. 
Eh kasi ang hirap mag-commute eh. Correct? Mag-grab. Eh, mahal ang grab. O di ba, kukumputin mo yan. May mga computations yan. Okay? And sometimes, okay, some people will just spend all their time in the internet. Okay? In Facebook, in Twitter, in Instagram, than doing more productive things. Bakit? Kasi pag ginagawa mo yung productive things, wala naman masyadong um, mag-upload agad sa'yo because it will take time for it to bloom. Tama? Di ba? Pero sa Facebook, pag maganda ang post mo, merong agad likes. My comments, my share. Tama? Oh, bakit, bakit, di ba? So, these are just common things which I believe you can relate, okay? This may not be 100% true to you, but I'm giving you a picture why, okay, why there are, no, there are indeed a reality that there is an instant gratification. No matter how mature you are, there are always a certain level where you wanted an instant gratification. Agree, disagree. Agree, disagree. Okay, let me share with you a couple of things. Why? Okay, why? Uh, why? Why? Why you would always result to instant gratification? So you don't beat yourself. Yeah. Yan kasi mga tao, di ba? Sabi ko nang abo mali ako. You don't do that. All right. Now, in understanding why do you result to a certain things, you would also have the empowerment to do some correcting within yourself. Clear? So, we're not here to bombard you with the do's and don'ts. What I'm, I wanted to share with you is why do you think or why and where are this coming from? And when you get to understand it within you, you will be able to do some adjustment. Are we clear? Okay. Can you take a deep breath? Hold it. Breathe out. You can do better. Breathe in. Na-stress na kasi sila eh. O, kaya pinapag, kayo din po, pwede kayong sumali dyan kung nanonood kayo. Breathe out. Ayan. Okay, you are free to comment. You can you are free to um, share your thoughts, your ideas. And if in case you message me directly to Adet Purto, um, I will message and answer you back later on. Okay? Um, otherwise, if you are messaging through Coach A page, I think si Raj can can read it and we can respond it to you. Alright? So, ready? Okay. Number one and most common why you would always result to instant gratification is your desire to avoid delay. Oh, sino ba gusto na di-delay? Procrastinators. Oh, yung mga procrastinators lang daw. Sino ba ang gustong na di-delay? Wala. Alright, why? All of us, by human nature, we don't want to in, we don't want to deny ourselves of something that is beautiful. We want to seize opportunities for pleasure. We want to seize the opportunity for convenience. We don't want any delay for something that we think we can get immediately. Correct? Correct? Yes. Oh, kung pwede nga lang, di ba, na yung pagbubuntis ng nine months, gawin natin six months para kita mo na si baby, ginawa mo eh. Truth of the matter, let, let's just be honest, that anything that takes time, you want it instant, you, you want it immediately, and that's normal. We don't want to be delayed. Sino ba naman ang gustong maghintay ng taxi ng 30 minutos at isang oras if you can just ta 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 at nandyan na si Mr. Grab. Correct? Kasi hudang mahal. Tama mali. Sige, ayaw niyo magsalita. Isa pa lang yan. Sampu kaya to. Ha? Oh, oh. <laughs> Biglang gano'n. Tama? Can you connect? Alright, don't beat yourself. What I'm saying here is, naturally, we don't want the delay. Doon kasi siya nang gagaling. We don't want the delay. Kaya po natin gusto ng instant gratification. Eh, sino ba naman ang gustong madelay ang pagkakabusog? Di ba? Eh, eh, pag hungry ka, anong dapat katapat nun? Babusog ka, normal. Oh, tama mali. Oh, tama, di ba? Pag gutom ka, dapat mabusog. Pag pagod ka, dapat magpahinga. Tama? Pag malungkot ka, dapat maging masaya. Ang problema nga lang, how do you respond to that? And what are the mechanics and what are the ways that you're getting it? Yun yung problema. Okay? But the source of it, it's because no one wants delay. Are we good? Alright, great. Next, uncertainty. Now, generally, we are born with infinite certainty. Yung certain, what is certain is finite. Ibig sabihin, we can only be certain with certain things, okay? But many of the things, we're not certain of. Would you agree with me? 
Many of the things you cannot define, you cannot understand. That's why there's hope, there's faith. Kasi maraming bagay hindi natin kayang makita ahead of time and we cannot be assured of. Ang problema natin, if you look for, alright, if you look for delayed gratification, if you pay word for delayed gratification, there is a question within us, eh paano kung hindi mangyari? Correct? Eh paano kung gising ako ng gising 30 minutes earlier, hindi naman ako pumayat? Paano kung wala nang manlibre? Eh, paano kung bukas wala na yung favorite food ko? Correct? It's uncertain. Well, I'm, I'm making the example very light, so just, you just have to connect. But you see, when you delay your instant gratification thing today for a mid-year or long-term goal, we have to, very, to, to understand as well that, eh, paano kung hindi nga mangyari yung goal mo? Eh, di sayang naman yung pinalagpas mong opportunity ngayon. Tama, mali. Tama? So, if you are working, okay, and you are offered a higher pay, anong normal na ginagawa ng normal na tao? Hindi po nila kayo nakikita, okay lang. Oo, hindi nakikita ng mga boss nyo na nandito kayo. Anong gagawin? Jump ship. Jump ship, tama, di ba? Immediately, you jump the ship. Okay. Well, people will tell you, had you stayed, you could be promoted, and you could have this, da-da-da-da-da, but the other side of it, you will say, eh, paano ko hindi ako na-promote? Paano kung hindi napansin yung efforts ko? Paano kung hindi naman nangyari? Right? But this one, I can get it. Are you getting the point? It's very uncertain. So people don't want uncertainty. Correct? Next. Ito na. Okay, bato bato sa langit. Ang tamaan. Delayed gratification. Okay. And instant gratification. That also to do with age. Aray. Oo. It got to do with age. Okay. When we say about age, okay, the younger you are, the younger we are, the more impulsive we are. While older people with more life experiences are better able to delay and temper their urges. Would you agree with me? Oh, ito may favor niyo yung mga matatanda. Ay, yes. Parang baliktad po sa akin. Baliktad sa'yo, okay. Meaning, mas, mas matiisin ka nung bata ka. Ibig sabihin nun, controlled lang ang environment. Yes. Oh, yon. Oh, oh. Matiisin tayo ng bata kasi controlled ang environment. Pero pag nakalabas ka na sa kwa, sa, sa haula mo at mag-isa ka na, then exactly you do what you are called for. Okay. So sino dito ang mga 30s and below? Ayan. Okay, 30s and below, mas impulsive. Oo, kaya sabi nila life begins at 40 kasi pag 40 ka medyo nag-iisip-isip ka na. Okay. So ako ano coach ang nangyari dito sa 30 and uh, 30 and between 30 and 40, tumitino ka na, umaayos pa na. <laughs> yun yun, di ba? Kasi you experiment, you know, you 30 and below. Think, think about it. Okay? Pag 30 and below, ang tingin mo sa sarili mo bata ka pa talaga kasi nasa kalendaryo ka pa. O, oh, agree kayo, di ba? O, oh, hindi naman nila kayo nakikita. Oo, oh, oh. hindi daw siya. You've been older? Okay. Di ba? Kasi feeling mo, bata ka pa kasi 30 and below. Pag 30 ka na, or lalo na paglagpas ka na sa kalendaryo, medyo nag-iisip ka na, what have I done in life? What have I done? What have I accomplished and everything? Okay, by 40, dapat normal, seryoso na yung tao. I'm not saying na magseryoso ka pag 40 ka, ha? Okay, ako seryoso na ako na 21 pa lang ako. Pero what I'm saying is this is the natural thing, okay? Because you know that there is still time, okay? You know that you can still play around things, you, you still can jumble and juggle through things, okay? The younger you are, the more impulsive you are. And I think it goes also with experience, no? Kasi kapag tumatanda ka na, nagkakaedad ka na, medyo mas marami ka ng hit, Marami ka ng burns, marami ka ng bugbog, marami ka ng dugo, marami ka ng luha. So medyo, uh, wait lang ha, masakit to, medyo temper natin ng konti. Coach Roy, naniniwala ka ba doon? Tama, tahinik siya, di ba? Okay, next, eto na. Okay, there also got to say, um, there is also such a thing as imagination. Okay, uh, yeah. Choosing a delayed gratification requires a lot of imagination or a lot of envisioning. Okay? So, kung ikaw yung tao na napapagod kang mag-envision, napapagod kang mag-imagine, napapagod kang tingnan what is yet to come, ayaw mo talaga ng delayed gratification. 
Tama? Kasi iisipin mo pa eh. O, so pag hindi ko ito ginawa ngayon, ano mangyari bukas? Ang hirap kaya mag-isip, bukas pa, eh kung namatay na ako ngayon, gawin ko na ito ngayon. I'm not saying it's right, okay? What I'm saying is, that's the narrative of the people. ba? Diba? Parang bakit ako mag for tomorrow? Tomorrow may never come. Oh, familiar ba sa inyo yung line na yan? Oh, tomorrow may never come. Today's the opportunity. I'm gonna seize the opportunity. Enjoy life. I might die tomorrow. Sabi nga ng iba, you only live once. once. Okay, and today may, uh, may be the end. So, uh, let me enjoy my life today. Eh, kung hindi ko na makain bukas yun, kasi patay na ako. Okay? So, we're, we're just taking it lightly with food, but it's also the same thing with other things. Alright? Ang hirap kayong imaginein. Okay, so, hindi mo na ako bibiliin ito kasi parang after six months, bibiliin ko ito pag nakaipon na ako. Eh, paano kung hindi ako nakaipon? Correct? Not for you. Hindi, swipe ko na lang. Before me na. Oh, Tama, tama. Okay. Eh, kasi coach, pag alam mo, pag iipunin, wala akong drive eh. Pero kung nak- nakikita ko na siya sa credit card, kailangan ko na siyang bayaran. So, kailangan niya ng pampuwersa. Diba? So, iba-iba po tayo. But basically, lahat po yan ay nag, nag, uh, boil down doon sa point na ang hirap kasi i-imagine what is yet to come. Okay? Next. Ito na. Uh, there is also such a thing na tinatawag po nating cognitive capacity. Okay? Yung cognitive capacity, um, the higher your intelligence, <laughs> cognitive, okay, the higher your intelligence, mas matalino daw po, okay, mas kayang mag-forward thinking. Okay? Pag mas matalino, Okay? Kapag mas intelehente, mas kayang mag-isip in advance. So, ibig kong sabihin nun, you can delay your gratification. O, ulitin natin ulit. Normally, people who are innately, innately intelligent, okay? Lagi po silang nagko-compute. Lagi po nilang tinitingnan yung future benefits. Lagi po nilang tinitingnan what it will come to them. What it will happen, you know, what will happen to them. Palaging... Basically, nagpa-process sila talaga. So, pag innately ganun yung cognitive behavior ng tao, uh, they can always delay gratifications kasi innately ganun na po sila talaga. Okay? So, yung mga tao kung ayaw mag-isip, less intelligent ba? Hindi naman po eh. I don't want to say na pag ayaw mo mag-isip, less intelligent. Tamad lang sigurong mag-isip. Oo, alam niyo po may mga taong ganon. Totoo po yun. Um, pwede naman po talagang matalino, tamit lang mag-isip. Or gusto lang nilang isipin yung gusto nilang isipin. Alright? So, kesa isipin ko pa kung anong mangyayari kapag hindi ko yan binili, bilin ko na lang. Eh, paano pag hindi mo nabayaran? Eh, di, let me face it when I cross the bridge when I get there. Doon po nang galing yon. O, sino ang nakarinig na, na sa inyo ng moto na yon? O, nung saying na yon? Cross the bridge when you get there. Sige, taas ang kamay. Hindi, hindi nyo pa narinig yon. Coach, hindi mo pa narinig yung cross the bridge? Narinig, narinig naman. Okay. di ba ano ibig sabihin ng cross the bridge when you get there? Doon mo na isipin pag nangyari. Kung pumuto, o di pumuto. Kung hindi ko nabayaran, hindi, hindi ko nabayaran. Meron namang, ano, meron namang penalty charge. Kaya nga may service fee and penalty charge, di ba? O, kaya nga may interest. Tama, mali. Next. Okay, sabi din po nila, okay, based on study, okay, Poverty is playing a role in instant gratification. Okay. Uh, even if, ito po, even if you have the wisdom, ibig sabihin po, kahit matalino ka, okay? Ibig sabihin nun, kahit naiintindihan mo na, ano, dapat mag-save ka, dapat huwag mo itong bilhin, pag hindi dadadada in everything, lahat na nung pangaral sa'yo, lahat na nang alam mo, it will also play a part po if you are in poverty or you were raised in poverty. Kasi, um, this is already your opportunity to experience the pleasure. So, bakit mo pa siya ipapadelay? Tama? So, di ba? Ano daw, may question? Yes? Um, kasi I studied sociology back in college. So... Sure. Um, with poverty po kasi, it's not just about instant gratification. Correct. But the chance of getting out of it. Correct. Hindi naman siya instant in a sense na, oh yes, tomorrow I'll be rich. But at least, within this time, I can eat. Correct. That is still instant. Yes. That's still instant. Yes. Tama? Yes. Because y- your point is, I need to eat now. Kasi kung ang experience ko from poverty, gutom ako, diba? I need to eat now. Diba? Yes. 
Pero, but it also plays a role on what they are looking forward in their future. So, correct. both instant and delayed. Correct. But uh, most of the time, because nga of poverty, poverty speaks of basic. Yes. Correct? Kasi pag, pag hindi ka into poverty, you go more. Diba? So before you go higher, it's more of kaya food. Kaya yun yung lagi natin example. Basic the food, necessity. the clothing, the basic necessity, and normally this hits the one on poverty. Tama? Kasi think about it. Kung dati ka nang nagugutom, ngayon may pagkakataong kang kumain ng masarap, why would you delay it? And without thinking yon, instant pa rin yun. Hindi ko iisipin na kung bukas ba, yayaman ako o hindi. Basta kailangan kong kumain ngayon. Dati nang ako nagugutom, magugutom pa ako ulit ngayon. E may mabambili naman ako, di bumili ako ngayon. <laughs> Correct? Yes. All right. So, let's move on. Impulsiveness. May mga tao po talagang impulsive. Agree? Correct? Ah, di ba? O, oh, ayun na talaga. O, oh, wala wala tayong pinag-uusapan ng instant gratification, delayed gratification. Meron po talagang tinatawag na simply impulsive. Yan. So, okay? So, whether delayed yan, whether advanced yan, whether forever yan, eh, impulsive lang ako. And many times, okay, lagi natin nakikita, ay, ayaw niyan mag-untay. Hindi, impulsive lang talaga siya. Ini. Tama, tama? Yes. Okay? If you are an impulsive person, it is really very difficult for you to consider, okay, a gratification in the future. Yeah. O, diba? Tingnan nyo to. Pag impulsive ka, pag nakakita ka gusto mong bilhin, di mo nga inisip kung anong meron yan eh. Bibilin mo. Totoo yun. Pag gusto mo, gusto mo. Walang, walang benefits yan. Gusto ko lang. That's it. You're impulsive on it. Okay. So, if sabi nung iba, pag sa strength finder daw po, ito po yung mga activator. Diba? Gora ng gora. Okay. So, um, uh, O, oh, tama. Kung ang gift mo yun po, ang strength po ninyo is activator. Uh, one of my gift also is activator. This is what I do, okay? So, anything that I love, I like, and I so, 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 so interested, default ko po yan, I will not act on it. Yan. That's something that I learned, okay? Ano yan? The moment that I under, um, I really understood that that strength, um, as an activator, is a very good strength. But if you... Um, misuse it, delikado po yan. Kasi galaw ka ng galaw without thinking. So in my case po, ang ginagawa ko talaga, anything na gustong gusto ko, mas matagal akong nagdidesisyon. Kasi gusto ko siya. Yan. Kasi I have to figure it out, tama ba siya o gusto ko lang siya. So, It's like love. Yeah, personal ko po yan. That's how I, I temper myself. Basta gusto ko, mas matagal. Yan. Next, okay. Meron pong tinatawag na Emotion regulation. I don't know if you've heard of this, but this is our personal indifferences in terms of how we regulate our emotion and how it impacts us towards direct gratifications. Meaning, some people can re really regulate their emotions and they can handle the stress, okay, without resorting to anything. Okay, but many people by regular standard, okay, for them to regulate their emotion, if they are stressed, kapag pagod sila, pag galit sila, kailangan meron silang gagawin, ano sabi, ano pang, ano, pang de-stress. Kaya nga ang tawag ang food ay, ano, comfort, dessert, dessert daw, pang de-stress, di ba? Tama, okay. This stress is dessert, tama? Kaya many people will eat kapag stress sila, correct? Pagpagod, may ginagawa. Tama po? So, yun po yung tinatawag natin na emotion regulation. So, kapag um, hindi mo naayos yung regulator mo, okay, kung paano mo ibabalik yung emotions mo when you are down, okay, the basic and the common and immediate response of people is immediately to resolve to anything that will give them Joy, happiness, fun. Diba? Para mo wala lang tong emosyon na to. I need to do something. Kaya nga, diba? Biglang magkukulong sa kwarto, bibili na maraming chips and dips with the soft drinks. <laughs> Tapos Netflix. <laughs> Tapos, diba? Mag-telenovela tayo saan. Mag-marathon tayo. Uh, diba? Tapos, next week, mag-bloat ka. Pag-timbang mo, ang taba mo, hindi mo, oh, stress ka na naman. Oh, diba? So, mas marami ka na namang problema. Tama? And the cycle goes on. Tama po ba? Okay. Also, okay. Uh, when you talk about instant gratification, 
our mood, our mood swing. Sino po dito ang may mood? Okay. Ano nangyayari sa, sa mood? Nagsuswing, di ba? Okay. So, the more that your mood swings swiftly and oftenly, the more that you are prone to instant gratification. Okay? Pag yung, yung pag-swing ng moods mo talaga, eh parang hangin lang to the east, to the north, to the south, yung gano'n lang siya ng galaw. So parang, yung gano'n ng kumpas niya, galaw ng galaw, mas madali po kayong, ano, matem. Tama? Because, if your mood can easily be swayed, okay, by outside forces, if your mood can be easily swayed by, you know, yung madali ka talagang mabor, sino yung mga madali yung mabor dito? Impatient people. Oh, nakakainis, di ba? Oh, pag nainis ka na, automatic yan. Hindi magre-resort ka what would gratify you immediately kasi nakakainis na. Okay? So, pag ayaw mo maghintay, eh naghihintay ka. Dadadada, di ba? Nagtumataas na yung acid, napupunta na sa utak mo. Di ba? Mula sa tiyan, nasa utak na yung acid. Okay, patay na. Tama? Okay, nagpapanik ka. Bakit ka nagpapanik? Naiinis ka na. Kasi tinan mo ha, many times yung impatient, yung pag naghihintay ka, um, ang susunod na magpapanik yung brain mo. Kasi pag nadili ito, hindi nangyari ito. Nag-iisip ng utak mo, papanik ka ito. Ano naman yan? Ang dami na nangyari. So, stress ka na. So, dahil stress ka na, maghahanap ka ng pang pasaya sa'yo. Tingnan nyo po, di ba? Yung mga queuing lines, di ba? Sa grocery. Sino po nagpunta na ng grocery dito? Taas po ang kamay. Okay, medyo practicein lang natin, galaw kayo ng konti, taga ko nagsasalita, baka, yan, galaw po tayo, taas kamay, di ba? Okay, so, kung nagpunta na po kayo sa grocery, napapansin nyo po, di ba ang grocery, pag checkout counters normally, pumipila kayo, pumipila tayo, tama? And then, habang pumipila tayo, ano po yung mga sa checkout counters, puro sinful? Yes. Tama? O oh, mga sweets, mga ganon, di ba? O, oh, ano yun? Kasi nga, that will give you the instant gratification. Diba? Yung minsan nga, diba, hindi pa nga napapunch, binubuksan mo na, guilty as charged. Oo, oh, guilty din ako dyan. Oo. Oh, oh. Oo. Oh. Tapos nagdating mo to sa counter, ang pinapunch na lang niya, yung balat. Tapos sabi mo, sorry ha, ah, nakain ko na. Tama? Tama, tama? Okay. Kasi po dahil yun doon. Okay, if you also go to places, basta po may pila or uh, they will cause you to wait, dun po nagpupunta yung mga sinful food. Okay? Yung mga not so healthy, dun yun yung nilalagay. Tingnan nyo po, pag sa mga pila-pila, sa mga, di ba, nakakakita po ba kayo ng mga vegetables doon? Di ba wala? <laughs> nakakakita po ba kayo ng salad doon? Wala. Ano po ang nakikita nyo doon? Chips. Tama mali. Chocolates. Tama mali. Oo. Kasi pagod na pagod kayo ng pumila, tapos sasabihin sa'yo, salad. With vinaigrette. Ay, yung gagawin ko siya. Kakairita. Tama mali. O, oh, diba? Yun yun. But when you are in a relax, diba, tanong nyo po, pag, ito, ano nyo, pag kayo ay nasa spa, nasa bookstore ka, you know, a little, you know, a little more relaxed, ambience, you, pag inoferan ka ng tea, you're good at it, right? Tapos pag sinabing soft drinks, soft drinks, tea tayo. Diba? Tama? Okay. Pero pag pumipila ka, tapos sabi sa'yo, um, gusto mo ng tea? Hot tea, herbal tea for your health, for my health. <laughs> okay na yung health na yan, kasi nawawala na yung yung katinuan ko dito. Anong kukunin mo? Anong kukunin mo? Soft drinks, ilabas yan. Tama, mali. Coke. Uh, hindi po ako yung promoter ng Coke. Sinasabi ko lang po ang reality. Can you connect with me? So, ganun po yung behavior nun. Yun po yung psychology behind doon. Diba? Tama? Oo. Oh. Ang haba-haba na ng pinila mo, tapos ibibigay pa sa'yo. Alubati. O, oh, diba? Ano to? O, oh, diba? Di lalo ka nagalit. Pero pagdating sa dulo ng pila, ma'am, okay, would you like some chocolates? Tapos ang kwento. Oh. Eh, kung, kung binigyan kahinan ka ng salad, Tingnan natin kung anong pakiramdam mo. Ang galit mo, maniwala ka. Hmm, wala pang natuwa nun. Napagdating sa dulo ng pila, binigay sa kanya salad. Wala pang gumawa nun. Tapos habang nakapila kayo, ah, okay, salad-salad tayo dyan. Walang ganun. O, oh, tingnan niyo po sa EDSA. Pag nata-traffic tayo, commuters and drivers, ano po mga binibenta sa atin? Mga nuts, mga mabibilis, di ba? Wala naman nagbenta doon ng salad, eh. 
Oh. Naniniwala kayo? Ay, hindi. Ah, oh, bakit nakakapag ano din sila doon ng ice cream? Meron namang container. Everything that is given to you is either sweet or salty. Tama? Because that will immediately beep up your emotions. Tama? Oo. Kung galit na galit ka lang at tinindahan ka pa ng maasim na mangga, tingnan ko pag hindi ka You're getting my point? Yun po yun. May logic kayo naman. Next. And finally, malaki pong role. Oo, naka-survive na kayo. Oo, pang tent na to, pwede na kayong umuwi. Hindi show. Congratulations. Nine na yon, nine yon. Oo, irarantro ko po ulit. On the tent is your anticipation. Um, yung experience po of anticipating, yung anticipation, ano yung anticipation is yung either excited ka o hindi ka excited. Tama? May mga bagay that you are joyfully in anticipation. Like for example, birth of the baby, excited ka kasi yan eh. Diba? Uh, pero pag for example, in anticipation ka ng result ng exam. Ano pa karamdam? Kapag in anticipation ka ng result ng job interview, anong pakiramdam? Scary. Ano? Scary. Oh, anong gusto mong kainin pag mga ganong time? Chocolate. Oh, pasta. Pizza. Tama. Fried chicken. Tama. Uh -oh. Wala namang mag-order na give me the big fish. Walang ganon. Tama? Okay. So, when you are in anticipation, okay, it matters as well kung kaya mong <laughs> maghintay pa ang hindi ka nai-stress. Kasi kung nai-stress ka na, definitely, you will seek to find comfort, you will seek to find um, pleasure in other things. Kasi nga, nai-stress ka na. Diba? O, oh, pag naghihintay ka ng result ng exam mo, ng board exam mo, eh, tinan ko na lang. O, oh, if you are husband, naghihintay ka kung mga nganak na si misis, at tinan ko ba naman, magsasalad ka ba nun? Tsaka magpifish ka dun sa ospital? Malamang hindi. Diba? Puro soft days, chips, and you, 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 it got to do well, alright? At that point in time, what is your capacity to wait? And what is your condition while waiting? Okay? So, sino po nakakuha ng 10? 10 po lahat yun. Sino po? 10? You got the 10? 9? Okay, first is your desire to avoid delay, your uncertainty, your age, imagination, Cognitive capacity, poverty, okay, impulsiveness, emotion, regulator or regulation, your mood, and your anticipation. Ten? Nakuha nyo ba? Congratulations kung sino pa naka-ten. Okay, now, um, let me just give you three things, okay? Three things that somehow can help you. And maybe this one you can immediately practice. Okay. Uh, three things lang po to. Number one, you can try first. Okay, you can try to... Um, teka, sino muna dito ang mahal mo ang sarili mo? Mahal mo ang sarili mo. Sir, hindi mo mahal. <laughs> hindi ito kasi kung mag-work to pag hindi mo mahal ang sarili mo. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I have to say this, okay? The number one, um, well, I'm a life coach and I always tell this to my client that the, I cannot work with people who doesn't love themselves. So most of the, most of the coaching um, principles and coaching techniques or styles or skills or, or resources that I would share with people is really vested on you loving yourself. Clear lang po tayo. So ulitin po natin, mahal niyo po ba ang sarili niyo? Yes. Mahal niyo po ba ang sarili niyo? Yes. Learning daw. So, kailangan yun ng tulong, coaches. Tulungan nyo siya para mahalin niya ang sarili niya. Okay, ng bonggang bongga. Okay. Why? Because the first thing, okay, that would really help you be set free from the trap of instant gratification is you empathizing and you having a compassionate, okay, feeling towards your future self. Okay. Kasi yung self mo ngayon can already adjust to what you have today. Yung self mo ngayon can already respond to the pressure of today. Pero ang tanong ko sa'yo, yung future self mo ba, kumusta siya? Yung ginagawa mo ba ngayon nakakatulong para sa future self mo? Yung mga decision mo ba ngayon, 
sasabihin sa iyo ng future self mo, congratulations, thank you, I am so grateful that was your decision five years ago. Sige, tahimik po tayong lahat. Okay. Tama? Alright? So, yung mga pinagbibibili mo ba ngayon, five years from now, Two years from now, three years from now, your future self will tell you what a great investment or your future self will tell you what a waste of money. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. If five years from now or ten years from now, you already you are already a mother you are already a wife or you are already a husband you are already a father will that future self say wow great job you have really prepared for this role with all the decisions of time to anong paano mo ini-spend yung time mo last time sige at nag-iisip po tayong lahat okay so Two years from now, five years from now, ten years would from now. Would you tell to your old self, "Sani naghintay ka sa tamang tao, sa tamang panahon." You didn't saw it coming, okay? <laughs> didn't see, you didn't see it coming, right? Okay. Uh oh. Puro professional ka niya. Now you know, Coach A. <laughs> Tama, hindi nyo napansin. Oo, yun ang dive nun, di ba? Kasi kung naghintay ka lang sa tamang tao at sa tamang panahon, sana maganda ang buhay mo ngayon. Kung sana inalagaan mo ang sarili mo, hindi ka miserable ngayon. Kasi inaalagaan ka rin yan. Kung minahal mo ang sarili mo at nirespeto mo ang sarili mo, sana mahal na mahal ka rin yan ngayon at nirerespeto ka rin yan. Tama, mali. Ang layo ng tama nung ito. Bakit napunta doon? Ang layo. Hindi ba? Kung sana nag-isip ka lang kahit konti, eh di sana ngayon premyado ang buhay mo at ang kasama mo sa buhay mo. Sana. Okay. Hindi ako nakakakanta. Kung nakakakanta ako, kinantahan ko na kayong lahat. Pero ang sarap ko banta. So kung nakakakanta kayo, kumanta na kayo. Para medyo lumabas ng konti. <laughs> Bumuls ay ba? Okay. Sige. Ito na. O, sige, iwanan natin ng konti yan para makahinga kayo. Ulit, take, take a deep breath. Mag-exercise kayo ng konti. Okay. Hold it. Release. Kaya natin yan. Breathe in. Release with the sound. Woo! Yun! <laughs> okay. Okay. Tapikin mo lang yung kasama. Masabi mo sa kanya, okay lang yan. Uh, Chill-chill lang. Kaya yan. Pare-pareho lang. Uh Oo. -oh. Uh -oh. Naintindihan ko din. Correct. Thank you. Okay. Next. Para ulit ito sa sarili mo. Okay. Para po maalagaan ng sarili from instant gratification, dapat po alam po natin gumawa ng tinatawag na pre-commitment. Uh, ano daw? Oo, ano ibig sabihin ng pre-commitment? You have to make a commitment, pre-commitment that no matter what happens, you will protect yourself from all the temptation that will possibly and would definitely harm you. Sabi ko nga po kanina sa aking Coach A page, what you allow to destruct you will ultimately destruct. Diba? If you continue to allow destructions in the form of instant gratification, ultimately that will bring destructions in your life. At tahimik na po tayong lahat. Okay. When you do a, a pre-commitment to take care of yourself, to love yourself, and to put your value above all else, okay, you will be able to really set off anything that is immediate, anything that is instant, because you know that everything that is worth Keeping is worth waiting. From personal, from love life, to career, okay, to everything in life. If it's worth keeping, it's worth waiting. So it takes time to wait for great things to come into your life. There is no shortcuts. And finally, okay, tatlo, na, tatlo lang to. Pwede na tayong huminga. Okay. <laughs> finally, okay, 
what really works is practice the ha practice the discipline of breaking your big goals okay um, to small and manageable goals all right so many times you bombard yourself you hit yourself or you penalize yourself with so much goals na ang lalaki nila that sometimes you feel ma-achieve ko pa ba to makukuha ko pa to and everything okay um, what you can do is to break it down in smaller things okay that you can manage that you can imagine that you can see yourself achieving it Okay, and as you achieve it, it will also be great if you can reward yourself. Okay, parang don't wait for the big goals to happen before you you reward yourself. Because in the process of waiting for great things to happen, pag hindi ka na nakapaghintay, you will result to instant gratification. But if you practice it, cutting it smaller, and then as you receive smaller, okay, smaller success, and then you give smaller rewards or you know rewards regularly, then you know. Okay, that you don't have to result to instant gratifications to receive great things in life. Remember that each step that you make uh, that is more committed to your future will likely be the best decision for you and your future. Okay. Sino po dito ang wala pang pamilya? Sino po dito ang wala pang anak at wala pa pong asawa? Okay. Then great, I have more of that in the house. So, ito nang ata kami lang ata ni Coach Roy dito. Okay? So, I'm a parent. Si Coach Roy is a parent. And for all the parents out there, I know that you can relate with me. So, single professional, single people. Okay? When you make a decision, remember. Okay? When you make a decision, remember this. Okay? Soon you will be parents. Not unless ayaw nyo mag-asawa. Okay? So, if you want and if you're planning to be a parent, okay, think about it. If you will be a parent and your daughter or your son will be doing exactly the way you're doing things right now, what would you say and what would you feel? Would you say, kudos, ang galing mo. Or pag nakita mong ginagawa yan ng anak mo, hindi ka talaga makakmap. Ganun eh, yun. So malamang alam mo na ang sagot kung tama o mali yung ginagawa mo. I believe in the principle of sowing and reaping and a principle will always happen no matter you, whether you believe it or not. And in the principle of sowing and reaping, what you sow, you will reap. And the best way to, to really sow for the great future of your children is to start sowing it in yourself. Because your children will see and will become who you are. Sabi po nila, kapag po may small monkey in the house, definitely there is a big monkey in the house. Okay? So parents out there, if there are um, things, ugali, if there are things that your children you don't like, you despise, I would really encourage that you take within you take a look within yourself because most probably sa atin po siya nagsimula. It's a bitter pill, a bitter bitter truth to accept. But most of the time, if we will just take a humble note and a humble stand, we will realize that it all started with us. So if you are young, if you are single, and you are yet to enter the marriage life and to be a parent, you still have all the best opportunity in life right now to do the sewing and reaping and start sewing it and making your life beautiful. Okay, it's not enough that you stay alive. It's more than enough to stay alive. But most of the time, I really encourage you to be empowered to make life a beautiful journey each day. Not because it is free from any of the problems, quite the opposite. More problem, more excitement. More problem, more challenges is more opportunity for you to get better and better in life. When you give yourself a future consideration, when you make an important decisions for the future life that you would have, and you're able to split the small things and the big things into small chunks, you will, much, you will find it much, much easier to say no to immediate gratification and the temptation to say yes to small things and say yes to great and bigger things and to say yes and yes and yes to greater and better you in the future. Good night, everyone. This is Coach A. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you had all a great night. Thank you and good night.